So now we're going to go over some of the very specific higher order functions that require another function in order for it to do its job. Now for a map, you're going to be given the map keyword, duh, but then you're going to need a procedure of what you want to do and usually one or more lists in that for what you want to apply. Or I don't want to say apply because there's another one called map, apply. Uh, you can map to that list. So in this example that we have right here, we're going to map an addition and add those two lists together. Map them together, link them up, and go ahead and come up with our final result as another list from that. Now, the complex version of this is just showing you the exact same thing in mapping, but this time I used a lambda function to say, hey, I want to multiply my two lists together. And in reality, that X is two lists of this exact same list twice. And that's why I have one, four, then nine, because two times two is uh, it's going to be four, and then nine, or three times three is nine. So that's how that worked out there. But I used a lambda function instead. So again, we've gone over lambda functions. Again, that means that lambda function didn't even get named. just got used, done, and then it's gone. So notice how this works out pretty nicely when it comes to, well, frankly, being able to do other jobs. And I'll show you sorting ones later on. But let's get to your example here. So in the exercise, what we're trying to do is we're going to use a code already given in the examples above. And I want you to create a curve function that will do just that. You're going to give it a set of grades. And by the time it's done with all its curving, it should be 10% more than what it was before. So a 90 should be end up being a 99, and we'll go from there. And then I want you to see if you can change your function slightly to use the lambda function. So it's going to be very similar to what we have up here. So see if you can do that, and we'll go over an answer here in a moment. So here is your answer for the Lambda version of, well, the mapping and then applying our 10% to it. Now, in either version that you had, Lambda or non-Lambda version, you got to have this portion of the multiply x times 1.1. you got to have that somewhere. But you may have it in a different fashion other than Lambda, but get used to using Lambda because it's probably going to show up on your exam somewhere. Let's put it that way. So that would be one of the solutions that we have for applying a Lambda function as the higher function in taking care of mapping of our 10% curve.